cost. How many workers should be hired? Let's look at the quantity of labor, the total product, marginal product price, marginal revenue product, wage or the marginal factor cost, and finally the total labor profit. First, let's look at the quantity of labor. So I can hire from one to seven workers. If I hire no workers, I don't produce any product. I hire one worker and that worker produces 10 products. If I hire another worker, so I have a total of two workers, the total then is 24 products. If I hire three workers, then the total product is 40 and so forth. The marginal product then is the change in the total product divided by the change in the quantity of labor. Since the change in the quantity of labor is one, then in this situation, it's the change in the total product. When I hire the first worker, the marginal product then is 10. If I hire a second worker, that additional worker then produces an additional or a marginal product of 14. And this process then continues. 24 to 40 would be 16. 40 to 52 is 12. 52 to 8 is 6. 58 to 60 is 2. And then if I hire the seventh worker, my total product goes down, which means there is a negative product of a minus 2. So how many workers do you think you would hire in this situation? You'd probably say that you would hire three workers because that's where the marginal product is the greatest. But the answer is you don't know. You don't know unless you know the price of the product and the wage rate of each worker. So let's say that this is a perfectly competitive market and the price of the product in the marketplace is $6. So for each unit, sold in the marketplace, it's going to sell for $6. To figure out the marginal revenue product, you would take the marginal product and multiply it times the price to get the marginal revenue product. So let's go ahead and do that. Here you'd have 0, 60, 84, 96, 72, 36, 12, and a minus 12. How many workers are you going to hire in this situation? Now, obviously, you'd say that you would hire three workers because that's where the marginal revenue product is the greatest. But that's not how you determine how many workers you're going to hire. To determine how many workers you're going to hire, not only do you have to know the price, but you have to know the wage rate, which is the marginal factor cost of labor. Marginal meaning additional factor being a factor of production, which is labor, cost. And so let's say it's a perfectly competitive labor market and you pay each worker $12. You hire the next worker, you pay that worker $12. And so we keep on going and that is the outlay for the workers that you're going to hire.